Charlton's splendid display against Chelsea on Tuesday. Williams lobbing Dave Besant for his first goal after just 12 minutes. Charlton's former Chelsea defenders Joe McLaughlin and Colin Pates in command at the other end. And it was 2-0 with 24 minutes played. Williams again the scorer. And nine minutes from time, the goal described by Lenny Lawrence as the best in his time as Charlton manager. Williams in the supporting role this time, centre stage, Paul Mortimer. Chelsea beaten 3-0 and knocked off the top of the table that night by Millwall, who drew at Wimbledon despite falling behind to a ninth-minute goal from Carlton Fairweather. Wimbledon's Eric Young then became the first recipient of a red card this season in the first division. And against ten men, Steve Anthrobus prodded in his first goal for Millwall, 1-1. Wimbledon are used to adversity, though, and Alan Cork hasn't lost his goal-scoring touch. This to put Millwall 2-1 behind. But they equalised for the second time, five minutes from the end. Tony Cascarino catching Wimbledon, appealing for offside. Millwall went top of the table, temporarily, as it turned out. Also on Tuesday, Southampton missed a penalty against Aston Villa, but found scoring from further out much easier. Glenn Cockerell, one of the game's best volleyers. Further proof there. And Jimmy Case still has his shooting power. Another sensational goal, Southampton two up, both glorious efforts coming in the second half. A few Southampton nerves jangling near the end when David Platt pulled one goal back. But after three draws, Villa's first defeat, 2-1 at the Dell. On Wednesday, Manchester United paraded Gary Pallister after his £2.3 million move from Middlesbrough. But Norwich City showed again that they're not likely to be one-season wonders. Robert Flex header, Dale Gordon in the clear, and Norwich a goal up on a ground where they also won last season. United were without Brian Robson in the second half when Pallister brought down Robert Rosario and gave away a penalty. After some protests on Pallister's behalf, Jim Layton outwitted by Fleck. And Manchester United beaten twice in four days. Manchester City are still seeking their first win. That looked a possibility when David White struck at Coventry. Andy Hinchcliffe's corner is a great weapon for Mel Machin's team. They produced three of their four goals this season. Hinchcliffe himself collected the other. 1-0 at half-time. Coventry recovered in the second half, though the match could have gone either way, even after Mickey Ginn's excellent equaliser. But in the last minute, Coventry produced the goal which sent them to the top of the first division for the first time in their 106-year history. David Smith, the scorer, a boyhood Manchester United fan. He would have enjoyed beating Manchester City. Nottingham Forest's indifferent start seems set to continue against Derby. Gary Micklewhite's indirect free kick in off Steve Hodge, an own goal. But just before half-time, Hodge harassed Mark Wright into a mistake and Gary Crosby tapped in an equaliser. That turned the match and Forrest blossomed like the well-publicised roses in Brian Clough's garden. Stuart Pearce earning Forrest's first win of the season. Sheffield Wednesday were still searching for their first goal against Everton and that need much greater when Kevin Sheedy sneaked in to put Everton in front. It looked as though Everton were on their way to another victory until Dalian Atkinson brought a measure of relief to manager Ron Atkinson. At last, a goal and a point for Sheffield Wednesday. <laughs>